Yes, I am still in costume for this video because I am filming, I'm filming two videos tonight. Well, three if this fucking thing finishes. It, it's still, it, what are we at now? I'm at 34% for Christ's sake. Come on, pitter patter, underlay, vamanos. No, hurry up, come on, do the goat. <laughs> so anyway, welcome to my madhouse. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and join our Facebook, Discord, and Patreon if you want to help support us or be part of the channel and all that wonderful stuff. Am I recording? I am recording. So something which I've seen going around lately is uh, people having SIP issues with Microtik routers. So they'll have like VoIP customers that are having issues with like weird anomalies in their VoIP streams. There's a very simple solution to that and that's to disable the SIP helper. I think it's also known as an ALG. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, if you have an IT group or a VoIP provider that says turn off the SIP helper, here's how you do it. Bring up your Microtik, okay? You go to IP firewall, and then service ports. See SIP right here? Turn that off. It's that simple. Once you've done that, that should resolve the VoIP issues, okay? Now, there could be other things as well if you have an overcomplicated firewall that has a bunch of BS in it that you don't need, but let's do that one more time. I'm gonna turn this back on. Okay, so you bring up your router, IP, firewall, service ports, SIP, turn it off. That's it, That's all you have to do. And you should be doing that regardless on your uh, Microtik firewalls, any of your uh, gateways for your networks, um, as trust me, it's more trouble than it's worth. Um, the reason being is because you actually should set these parameters appropriately, but since so many different VoIP, pro uh, VoIP providers like UMA or that god-awful VoIP.ms or, you know, who else offers VoIP services, Ring Central, whatever, many of them have different SIP timeouts. And most of them uh, vary greatly. I mean, like I know with uh, VoIP.ms, the timeout is five minutes. So we set for 300 seconds. Um, so right here, because there's so many variants, you can't accommodate all the different SIP providers if you're an ISP. Um, so having this enabled is just gonna be detrimental. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Turn it off, that'll fix your issue. I don't think there's anything else I can say really, you know. I wanna take another vitamin C tablet because they're so friggin' yummy, but whatever. But anyway, <clears throat> that's all there is. I look at doorknob. Well, that puts us at three minutes. We, this actually kind of qualifies as a quick tip, to be honest, but uh, whatever, whatever. So anyway, that's all that there is to the video today. Pretty short and sweet, eh? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave a comment about the video, any details that might have left out or things that you would like to contribute or that, um, whatever. Any video ideas, don't forget to join us on uh, our Facebook group or uh, if you want to help contribute to the channel for as little as a dollar a day or a dollar a month, <laughs> <laughs> contribute on the Patreon, and you'll also have access to our Discord. And with our Discord, of course, we have all sorts of discussions. There's a private group in there for Patreon members and whatnot, and uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. I'm gonna eat some more whipped cream now. Mm. You no know, this stuff's shit compared to the actual brand name stuff? Like, it actually says no name on it. No name. No name brand. It's got a hint of Play-Doh, but it's still charged with nitrous oxide. Thank you.